you know, Stephen, I didn't even set this up. I, I wasn't even thinking about it when I made that last video until I walked around here and uh, realized that uh, my roommates are cooking a brisket. Yeah. Yeah, Stephen. That's, uh, that's what you call being the meat inside the barrel. Now, like I said, Stephen, do you want to, uh, you want to be in the barrel or do you want to be sitting at the bar? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Something else you probably ought to think about there, uh, Stephen, is uh, when I was a kid, I used to play soccer for the Cosmos, and I was the team captain. Well, we took that team of misfits three years in a row to the championship, absolutely slaughtered everybody. Nobody could believe we were as good as we were, and the reason for that is we were in Texas with an, an actual Olympic soccer coach who played in the Olympics with the Iranian soccer team named Kazim Hamidian the Dream. I called him Kazim the Dream. And he taught us how to play soccer a whole lot better than everybody else knew how to play soccer because that's, that's pretty much what they live and breathe over there in Iran Contra. <laughs> and... Uh, You'll never guess what my position was on that team as the captain. I was the sweeper. And what I wanted to get at is a lot of people would consider me a news cook there, uh, Stephen, who's going to write this movie here pretty soon that's going to expose all these people. Because uh, the ping key, the oracle, right, was pinging all the information to your transhumanist mind hives to include the media and Hollywood. Now, Hollywood did the right thing with the information. They actually exposed the truth. And that's why I have a little bit of respect for you there, Stephen. But the problem that I have with you is you haven't given me my fucking money, right? And Pinky needs his fucking money, okay, Stephen? Especially when you see this next script that's gonna basically give you uh, enough power to end up at the bar in hell and not in that barrel. Because I can assure you, that's where you're going. <laughs> uh, but it's better to be at the bar than it is in the barrel. So, uh, I might look out for you. you. You never know. You might, you pull this off, you might get you a golden ticket to heaven. But <laughs> you better do something magical there, <laughs> Stephen. <laughs> but... Uh, but what I wanted to get at is I've been in my emails, if you've noticed over the last three years, that are timestamped, that predicts everything, always. In those emails, I said a long time ago that I've been hustling y'all with the truth all along. So that entire key that I pinged to y'all was the truth, but there was underlying code in it, hack. <laughs> That's what separates the men from the boys is... The, the men knew what the code was, right? It was going to expose everybody when it was all said and done. Two bulls at the top of the hill. Let's walk down there and fuck them all. Well, that's what we did. But you're not one of those bulls, by the way, uh, there, Stephen. You were just a, merely a, a tool. <laughs> you're a pretty good tool. Very sharp and very skilled. I'll give you that. But you're extremely hacked, so it wasn't like, you know, you were doing anything human. <laughs> you were basically just a piece of meat that's being driven around by artificial intelligence like the rest of these idiots. But that's okay. I, I don't think that even really hurts your feelings, Stephen, and that's kind of why I like you. You're not one of these uh, people that gets their feelings hurt too bad because, <laughs> hell, you had a really good life and you don't have anything to complain about, do you? Imagine living my life <laughs> where I'm actually still human and I had to put up with all you fucking idiots over the years invading my mind with your illegal mind hive technology that uh, y'all uh, used on innocent civilians all these years to pluck data out of their heads to write movies and scripts because a lot of these people are actually God's messengers. And See, I'm satanic Jesus uh, there, uh, Stephen, so... 
If I were you, I would uh, cozy up to me real nice like, because uh, if you don't, your future is going to be really shitty. I mean, really. I, I, actually, I can basically dictate your future at this point. Real simple. It's, it's not going to take much. I, I've got you by the balls there, Stephen. But I don't want to be your enemy or anything. I, I, I kind of want to. I kind of want us to work together and really get along, if you know what I mean. So, I left my Bitcoin address on one of those last videos there. I'll put it on this one. All that money that you owe me, that I pinged all that information to you over the years and you put in those movies, yeah, you need to go ahead and send me my money because uh, if you don't, well, <laughs> you can ask Alex Jones how I can dictate pe people's destinies here and uh, really all I got to do is have bad thoughts about your future there, uh, Stephen. And I don't want to have bad thoughts about your future because you're useful, all right? So uh, what you need to do is take your skill set like you have over the years and you need to produce this movie and direct it that points out everything that I've said on this YouTube channel all the way down to the underlying quantum code and you need to expose all your friends or you're going to have a really harsh life in the future, okay?